Hello guys and welcome to another gameplay video This game had some hard fights especially in the end Where I had to go against a full squad in a small circle So for this game I'll be using the two builds I shared in my last videos The Fennec for close range and the M4 for mid to long range And we'll see if I'll be able to take down the final squad or not But before we start let's finish watching the highlights of this game Where I had some fun fights against 7 real players in the final circle I know I shouldn't be doing this but I unfollowed my team and went to construction site and they went to Rivertown because I don't want to waste the first minutes of the game looting. I wanted to land in a place that has more chances of giving me a fun early fight. I ended up avoiding the fight here because there were three players rushing together and I noticed that this became a tactic in my server where you find full teams on construction site sticking together and just rushing everyone on the roof. As soon as they land they just grab a gun and start killing everyone and I must admit it's a pretty good tactic. And it got me killed many times because there isn't really much you can do especially when I'm alone away from my team so I waited for a better chance to kill them After that I went to upgrade then I got lucky with the first airdrop as it landed right next to me. So I got that then I headed towards the loadout airdrop to get my M4. Enemy vehicles. Holographic. 
Okay, so here I had a bra moment because I thought I had pumped class with me and I was trying to get to the roof. But don't blame me. I've been playing with that class non-stop since it was released. The enemy had some crazy aim and his teammate was pushing me too. So I had to bail right away. There is no question about that. And I'm glad I made it out alive. So I healed up and went back to find out that my team was engaging with them. So it was my chance to go in. Dog tags have been scanned successfully. Your teammate will return to the battle when the next revive might arrive. Half of the teams are eliminated. Engaging the enemy. Enemy down. Moving on to the next fight, I think this squad went to get an airdrop, so I destroyed their helicopter right away to prevent them from pushing me with it. Enemy eliminated. Supply box here. But it didn't really matter because they had an airborne and the issue is that I couldn't really see them in the sky and my team was far from me. So I used my snowboard to switch my position and even if they decided to rush me it would be hard for them to hit me. Plus the fact that I have trickster ready just in case. This team was interesting because even though I knocked one of them in the start and almost knocked the second one, they're still being too aggressive and overconfident, pushing me one by one. But that's exactly what I needed. Supply box here. So remember when I reloaded my gun here? Well, I thought it was reloaded, but it didn't. No. <laughs> and now I have 15 bullets to kill this guy. Luckily for me, the enemy missed many shots. He just needed one more bullet to kill me. But I would have been so mad if I died there after all the trouble I went through. Sadly, during this fight, my entire team got killed by another squad and I had to finish the game on my own. The good thing is that I found this car right here. So I used it to drive around and collect some info to see how many players are remaining. And now I know there's a full squad with an airborne, which I believe is the same squad that killed my team. So I waited for a chance to engage and I found it when I saw this player running around on his own away from his team. This is cancer! Maybe I should have finished him off, but his teammate was there and he had pretty good aim. So it was a risk that I'm not willing to take. At this point, both me and the enemies knew what we're dealing with. So all of us were playing carefully, just waiting for the other one to make a mistake. But none of us did. And as the circles started to shrink, I had to go inside before they do. Because if I don't, then I'm dead for sure. Trust me, you don't want to be outside the zone when you're facing a full squad. Here to the key. I want to 
Katakari. Dare Sirius! Dare Sirius! Dare Sirius! Dan! Dan! Yo! It may seem like a simple fight, but there was a lot of thought process put into it. And it was a hard fight for me, especially that it was in a small area. But I got extremely lucky with the battleground. First of all, I had both high ground and low ground to move around and use it to try and split the enemy team apart. I also got lucky with the airdrop right here as it provided me with good cover and allowed me to focus on one enemy at a time. Then the trickster timing was perfect. The clones went backwards and remained on the low ground while I headed towards the high ground. And I tried to knock the first enemy here, but he got away. Then and two of them were distracted by the clones and I was going to knock at least one of them. But I got interrupted by their teammate. So I had to switch to him right away. Slide and jump to dodge some bullets, then attack. But again, he got away with low health. Next, I had to deal with the poltergeist enemy. And since he already wasted the first two seconds of his ability, I could clearly see him here. Tricked him by thinking that I'm going to the right. Then I made an instant quick sharp switch all the way to the left, dodging all of his bullets while using the airdrop to block the vision of his teammates. Sadly, I still got heavily damaged but it blocked their vision long enough for me to knock him down. Another one comes in and again, the airdrop literally saved my life as I used it as a cover to regenerate some of my health. And at the same time, I waited for the enemy to waste some of his bullets in hopes that he runs out during the fight. But he totally messed up. As soon as I came out, he started reloading and basically became a free kill. But again, he got lucky and he survived with one bullet only. So I went down to finish him off and at the same time, I avoided getting pushed by his other teammates. Here, the enemy made a huge mistake when he opened his wingsuit. He should have just went down normally because with the new season there is a short delay when you land and at the same time it takes a bit of time to shoot which gave me a head start over him and by the time he started shooting i already melted half his health now slide to the right to use the wall as a cover while locating the last enemy and i feel like this guy gave up before even fighting watching his entire team getting knocked in front of his eye must have made him panic i really hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay and if you did as always a like would be highly appreciated thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video peace